very much, and welcome to the Kimono Showcase, my sabbatical presentation. For my sabbatical, I did two projects. One is Kimono Culture, and the other one is Audiovisual Module, which I'm using right now at the beginning Japanese course. Today, you will see the beauty of kimono, and um, which is colorful and elegant. First, you will see some demonstration and also different types of kimono. Then, after a short break of lunch, I would like to introduce my slideshow and some uh, videotapes that I created during my sabbatical, which is uploaded to the uh, Japanese website. Last November, before sabbatical, I joined the group called Nadeshiko Kai. She is the president of Nadeshiko Kai, which is a kimono club, so that I will know how to dress myself all by myself in kimono. Prior to that, I couldn't do it. I had to have a help to put on the kimono. Now through her training <laughs> and also practice that I can put it on my, by myself and I was able to create two videotapes with the help of Sonia Bangston of the IBC Media Department. I created two videotapes and it will be uploaded to the um, either website and also YouTube. Mrs. Sasaki, who is my guest speaker today, is a teacher of Kimono Club. And she founded this Kimono Club 2011. And in order to promote the beauty of Japanese culture through Kimono to non-Japanese audiences, and then all of a sudden realizing, well, I think we need to also introduce to a Japanese people too, because just like me, I didn't know how to put it on myself. So it was a good idea. It was spreading to non-Japanese and Japanese people as well. From the very small handful of people, after three years, she has one, over 100 members, and these members volunteers to function such as this, so that we can start the conversation of kimono with the audiences. I have lots of things that we can talk about, because she was a, ki a prominent kimono teacher and also consultant while she was in Japan. But instead of talking about her accomplishment, I think you would like to see the different types of kimono and also you will get to see how the kimono, or this, especially this one is called free sode, the long sleeve kimono right in front of you. So let me introduce Mrs. Sasaki. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Takako. Uh, I'm uh, very happy to be here, and uh, thank you very much for inviting me here. I'm very happy to uh, get a chance to introduce a beautiful Japanese kimono, especially to uh, the real kimono to show you. Maybe some of the audience get a chance to, might get a chance to wear the casual kimono later. But today, uh, I have a, a general casual kimono in which is called Komon. Today, she's wearing a casual kimono here. And can you open up? This type of kimono is a, a really casual kimono to wear, to go just uh, wear for the town, uh, for shopping, or for to go to um, uh, culture school or something like this. And then, it's not a formal occasion to wear, but uh, uh, many uh, colors and uh, also the patterns is varied. And then, uh, can you show them the back? Yeah. And then, uh, uh, this is a, uh, we call the Nagoya Obi, which is a single bow tie, and single drum, <laughs> drum tie uh, of the, uh, the Obi. Uh, we also have the several different type of Obi, so uh, the obi and the kimono can be uh, coordinate with the, it depends on the what kind of the, the formality. This is casual kimono, so uh, this, with this kimono, the, we have to select the right uh, for, uh, not a uh, casual obi for this one. This type of uh, kimono can be wear by the 
uh, anybody, like a married woman or unmarried woman. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Come on. This is also, uh, what's the name? Eri-san. Eri-san uh, wears it today. It's uh, called uh, part of the free type. But you can see the, uh, the sleeve's length is different from her, a little bit longer than this. But uh, this is uh, also the part of the free which is only uh, can be wear in single women, I mean, the unmarried women only. Once you get married, you cannot wear the longer sleeves. I will show you longer one later. I will demonstrate that. Uh, which I uh, wear this one is a little bit shorter than this. Means I'm married. He's my husband. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the same case. Okay, and then what Elisa is wearing is a longer uh, uh, furisode inside. So over furisode, she wears a skirt over it. And uh, this style can be seen. Uh, this is a uh, um, the formality is semi-formal, and normally most of the Japanese uh, lady can wear this style in the graduation uh, party, like a uh, graduation school style. Uh, maybe you can see this kimono type in the uh, animation, uh, not the anime, uh, animation or something. And uh, many uh, ladies graduation, like a uh, college or a university, many people wear this style. We call uh, Furisode Hakama, skirt, name of the skirt. Can you see back? Okay. This is a Hakama skirt. And also, she can wear the boots. This is kimono boots. Can you uh, see, show them the in front? This is kimono boots. And um, this is okay. Also, uh, she can wear the zori, which I wear this, and split the toe. And we wear the tabi, which is a uh, uh, kimono socks and which uh, the toe is split for only two like this and then um, only this style can be uh, she can wear the boots a any other kimono uh, we do not wear the boots on it only boots can be uh, affordable with this type of kimono okay thank you very much hey the man the he's only the man another <laughs> number naoki san now we can wear the, this. This is a formal uh, kimono for men style. And then this formal black uh, kimono can be wear in wedding, either wedding or morning, both. Okay. And then you can see the some uh, crest on it. This is what we call kamon, which is family, uh, uh, family crest. Uh, can, you, can you show them? One. And can you open the wing like this? One, two, three, and the front. Show front. Four, five. So five family crest is higher ranking for the, in the kimono. So if you see the kimono with family kamon, uh, the family crest, um, five is a max. So it's a higher ranking. So uh, he wear for the like a uh, wedding ceremony or uh, maybe some kind of the formal uh, ceremony or formal party can be wear. Like, uh, uh, how old are you? Two, 22? Yeah. Normally in Japan, uh, the, we have the coming of age ceremony when people became the 20 years old. It's called uh, Seijin Shiki. And now I'm going to uh, show how to dress uh, real dress kimono. And uh, we have a model here, the Rinko, come here. Sorry, she's kind of naked, naked. <laughs> okay, this is a uh, casual style. And uh, I'm going to change her uh, dress nice. Maybe everybody can see much. Okay, uh, can you hey, take off the shoes? Just kimono is very expensive. I don't want to, you know, you know, make it dirty, so we always use a nice and you know, clean mat, tatami mat for to wear. Okay. The first of all, before I put her the dress, uh, kimono dress here, I need to uh, uh, modify her body to 
somehow the kimono body. That means kimono is uh, made of all the straight line. That means uh, normally ladies is, has the best nice uh, curve, curving line, right? So like a bust and waist and hip, uh, it doesn't work for the kimono. So anybody who's, uh, who has a nice body like that is, needs to is, modify your body first before you wear kimono. Like, uh, she's kind of okay because straight line. <laughs> Sorry about <laughs> that. <laughs> I don't want to say that. It, but still, we still, you know, need some of, you know, modify her body. With, uh, I need, uh, here's a small uh, thing, towels. Okay, stand here, please. And then open the, your hand. Okay. I need to wrap her to... This is going to be the, the part for the hip. And then, the next one. This is a I made, handmade vest. And then, either you can use with a thin towel to put on, but too much put on is, uh, you know, it's hard. So, today's show, I made this one for her, too. Like this, like a robot. <laughs> but this is very important. So people don't know, you know, what is going on inside the kimono, right? But normally if she wears a kimono, very beautiful, nice, no wrinkle, so that means she made, you know, the foundation uh, is good. Her body um, modified, shape straight. That's the meaning, okay. You will see how much many things is put it on under the under the garment. And now, is, this is not the only kimono. This is undergarment kimono. We <laughs> more kimono is going, coming, okay? This is undergarment kimono, which called Nagajuban. Okay. Eto, kōrin kudasai. Hai, jai, Normally, for ladies, we need to uh, open the spaces for with uh, uh, fist, uh, the big, uh, as big as a fist, big like this, to open the show, the ne neck here. Okay. 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 I use uh, this one for You don't see the how she wears the inside a lot, right? So this is already nice. Ah, uh, clip got switched out. Okay. This is also under sash belt to hold the colors to fix nice. More stuff. Okay, you can show show them around. This is this is also it looks nice, but you. Only can see in the color only after she wears the kimono, okay? And now, kimono is coming, okay? This is what we call the furisore, very expensive one, made of silk, on the old, handmade it. Um, the, you can see the sleeves is very long, okay? This one is, I thought, this is only unmarried woman can be wear. And then the formality is very formal kimono. First formal kimono for unmarried women only, okay? So once you get married, you don't uh, have any chance to wear the kimono. 
uh, except maybe stage star, like a singer stage. Uh, maybe it's possible, maybe somebody very famous singer or actress maybe can be yeah, on the stage only. Okay. I hold this, the long sleeves. で、背中のクリップ入れます。はい。オッケー。ジョーさんももう上がっちゃっていいよ。で、後ろお願いします。And then this one is we call the uh kazaneri. That is uh, just to show them the layer and then uh, very uh, 5 mm. I don't know the how inches to show them looks nice. Oh. Double color. It means more formality. Okay. So this kimono's length is very long, right? And I'm I show you how. One side flip up and then, and then, and then going down up to the level of the uh covered ankle. And then kimono is always left side over the right side. So to show wrap like this. And this is a waist belt. So to wear the kimono, we don't have any fastener, bottom, you know, nothing. Only use, you know, sash belt or gun belt, you know, just uh, strings only. <laughs> so it looks like magic. That's why how, you know, to wear the kimono is not easy. You know, cannot learn in only one day. Uh, most of the people, I mean, Jap even the Japanese people, you have to go to the certain school to learn how to dress. Okay, the color. あ、これやってないね。ごめん。話してたらね、できないんですよ、こうやってね。そう。右上げるよ。はい。よいしょ。後ろ、後ろ。後ろ大丈夫。調査。うん。はい。And this color we fold two and third. And then this second layer of the color. Mieneかな? I show very neatly to show the two colors on it, like this. And then clip. The kimono is all sewn in straight line. That's why very hard to fix without wrinkle. So it's too long. Can you see? Only the undergarment can be seen, the color only. <laughs> no pink, you know, can be. And then I use a sash, uh, which is called Koshihimo. Uh, many, uh, we use this sash. And this is, I use another under sash belt. See how she wears lots inside now already, right? But uh, she's going to tie obi after this. So you can guess how she feel tight, right? <laughs> well, she's okay. She's uh, one of my students, so she gets used to wear the kimono. 
but maybe the first time is maybe you need to eat first, make sure to before you dress. Otherwise, <gasps> you can't drink, you can't eat. Stand here to show them to make round, make round. This is on the kimono down. Now I'm going to show you the ah, これ先にちょっと長さ見せ。Show you the key, the obi. Okay, I show you. Uh, じゃあリンコちょっと後ろに行ってください。I show you this is how long is this obi. This is a former obi, which is called fukuro obi. And the length is, let's see. <laughs> see? And can, you, can you see the length of this? And then no button, no, you know, nothing, right? Looks like magic I'm going to tie on her. Uh, this is length is uh, about 4 meter and 50 centimeters, which I have today, okay? And I'll show you how to. This, this is not easy. <laughs> Maybe you can see easily, but it's not easy. <laughs> because they're tough and then all made of silk and very, you know, not like a folding paper. <laughs> but I would do this, something like this. Okay? So, this ちょっと幅出してみて少しずつ。で、リンコを先に見せない方がいいからこっちだな、リンコね。じゃあ、ジョーさん前お願いします。はい。ホールドインとインハーフ。はい、じゃあここにお願いしてください。はい。よ。this is hard work. <laughs> you can guess. Okay, I tie now. One, two, three. Hey. <laughs> you feel how tight it is? She breathes, breathes, okay? One, two, three. Hey. Okay, this is tight. Okay, ready. It's a hard time to be, be uh, beautiful, <laughs> right? Hard work for me too. <laughs> so normally I work, you know, put them in many young ladies to wear this. I wear, the, you know, the short pants and the, you know, t-shirts or something. It's hard work. My ribbon tie. There are several uh, way to tie obi, especially for the Frisode, long sleeves, I may say um, more than the 100. So include the orange, you know, sm uh, small oranges include maybe 300 different Thai obi. Looks like a bow tie. This looks easy, but once you did, it, this is not easy. <laughs> you need some practice to this. 
that are always beautiful, so gold and you know, all handmade. Hana onanka tsukiru kamo, ato de, ato de. De, eto makura. How to hold it? Yes. Gomu mo ikot na kana. Aata. This is my original Thai. It's a more easy one, but you know they are basic. Uh, Thai, maybe three different Thai for the young ladies, but this is my original, so it's a, it's a little, little bit complicated to me. More looks gorgeous the way. So obijime is obi code to decoration also to hold the obi. Okay, almost done. Ta-da! Yes, good to Mario. Hey, okay, then. Da 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 da. Show. And I show them the back. The corner here, mother, good to meet you. Like this. This is a uh, 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 the kind of the basic bow tie is a uh, sparrow tie, a uh, sparrow tie obi that I amendment a little bit. So I changed it. So this is kind of my original flower. And then obi code, obi comes here, and then more obi age, made of Thai dye. Hey. The shibori and purple cloth, a very classic Japanese kimono frisode for the young ladies. OK, Rinko-san, thank you. Hey, don't worry. But uh, so you see how how does it? She wears a lot of stuff inside, but you don't feel right. But it's need because without these stuff inside, uh, uh, her you know the the kimono maybe has a lot of wrink wrinkle. So like here, I have a pot here. You remember the best inside? That's why she her curve is very natural and uh, you know womanly, nicely so smooth and nice. So that's very big difference. Thank you very much.
Mrs. Sasaki, and thank you for the models for a beautiful outfit that I bet you are having trouble breathing <laughs> in and out, in and out. Anyways, thank you very much. Wasn't it wonderful? <laughs> now you know how much goes into wearing the kimono. I'm wearing tank top, just like she did, and also underwear, under kimono underwear, mm -hmm. and also the um, that little Pad padding, <laughs> padding, and, padding, yeah, and then stuff. the uh, undergarment and kimono. So there, one, two, three, four layers I'm wearing. Yes. Yes. Usually. Even in the summertime. Even the summertime. <laughs>